HP's ZBook Studio G8 outshines the ZBook Firefly and challenges the ZBook Fury as the top all-rounder in the company's workstation lineup. What do you get when you cross a mobile workstation with a gaming laptop? The HP ZBook Studio G8 starts at $1,894. For $1,488 as tested, is often ordered with one of NVIDIA's formerly known as Quadro Professional GPUs but is also available with NVIDIA gaming graphics like our test unit's GeForce RTX 3070, and its keyboard has RGB rainbow backlighting that would look at home on a deluxe gaming rig. High frame rate gamers won't like our studio's 15.6-inch OLED display, which is stunning but limited to a vanilla 60Hz refresh rate. But the system adds up to a prize platform for 4K video editors or other digital content creators. We've reviewed most of HP's ZBook laptop workstations, from the heavyweight flagship ZBook Fury 15 G8 to the ZBook Power G8 that targets engineering students and other budget-minded users. Last year's ZBook Studios had only NVIDIA Quadro GPUs, with the GeForce version dubbed ZBook Create G7. The 8th generation applies the studio name to both. At 3.96 pounds, the ZBook Studio G8 is almost as thin and light as the 3.74 pound ZBook Firefly 15 G8, which is billed as HP's trimmest mobile workstation, but considerably more powerful. The $1,894 base model has an Intel Core i7 11800H CPU, 16GB of RAM, a 256GB solid state drive and a 1080p IPS screen backed by NVIDIA T1200 graphics. For $4,488, our review unit raises the stakes. It's got an 8-core, 2.6 GHz, 5.0 GHz turbo, Core i9-11950H processor, 32 GB of memory, a 2 TB NVMe SSD, the 8 GB GeForce RTX 3070, and an OLED touchscreen with 4K, 3, 840 by 2, 160 pixel resolution. Another screen choice is the non-touch 4K dream color display we raved about in our Fury G8 review, whose 120 Hz refresh rate makes it the best pick for gamers. The aluminum-clad HP measures 0.69 by 13.9 by 9.2 inches HWD, making it minutely bigger but a bit lighter than the Dell Precision 5560. 0.73 by 13.6 by 9.1 inches, 4.3 pounds. The top and side screen bezels are thin, but there's no flex if you grasp the screen corners or press the keyboard deck. The system has passed MILS DD810H torture tests for travel hazards such as shock and vibration. A fingerprint reader in the palm rest and a face recognition webcam give you two ways to skip typing passwords with Windows Hello, but the webcam has no privacy shutter. Next to the power connector on the studio's right side are two USB-C ports with Thunderbolt 4 functionality, an SD card slot, and a mini DisplayPort video output. Units with professional GPUs have HDMI instead. The left edge has one USB 3.1 Type-A port, an audio jack, and a security lock slot. The 4K OLED touch display is a real highlight, with sky-high contrast, inky blacks, and pristine white backgrounds. Fine details are ultra-sharp with no trace of pixelation around the edges of letters, and colors are rich and well-saturated. Viewing angles are wide and brightness is ample, though I was never tempted to turn it down as I am by the very sunniest screens. Reflections on the touch glass are minimal. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.